Hey guys, my name is Ryan Miller. I'm here to talk about the Berna non-lethal launcher. We're here with Pelican and Boss Strongbox at the Overland Expo Mountain and wanted to run you through a couple of features of the Berna SD. So this is our launcher. It's a magazine fed CO2 launcher. It is not a handgun, it is a launcher. Okay, a couple of features we really like about that is that it's a CO2 canister that goes in underneath the barrel. You have your tool in the magazine to actually pull it out. Drop the canister in. Reapply your cap. I won't put it down all the way. But it will puncture that canister on the first trigger pull. So it's a very long trigger pull, meaning that you can leave this loaded in your RV, in your side-by-side, -side, in wherever you need to have it for a long period of time until you're ready to use it because it does not puncture until you get that first pull. We have a handful of options for projectiles. We have the Eco Kinetic. It's a biodegradable, very similar to like a, a compacted soap. There is the pepper option. And then we also have the Kinetics. And these are coming out at about 350 feet per second. They are hard. They are reusable. They are meant to break glass, leave welts really deter anybody that wants to make an advance big bear mountain lion grizzly any of that sort of stuff um, comes with sights ambidextrous safety magazine fed uh, 50 state legal they are tsa compliant you can put them in your checked bag you cannot cannot put them in your carry-on so this is the berna sd they make different models there's an hd model there is a Leo edition, which is supposed to be for our police. Um, I think the biggest thing we like about this, it's legal in all states. It can easily be carried in our camper. Um, I like the built-in safety. Um, that is a very nice option. And to be able to have the ability to do impact rounds or to do pepper rounds, I think is also important. So, and it's something that Winnie's more confident in shooting versus a real gun and you have to abide by the regulations for where you are going when you go camping. So with that being said, uh, we found the Berna as a good alternative. And no matter where you stand on guns, um, this being something that can't kill somebody per se, but stop a deterrent or stop somebody. If I'm not home and she's there by herself, this is an option that she can grab in the house, have readily available, don't have to worry about loading or anything it's literally point and shoot she's going to grab it she's going to take the safety off there's no racking of a slide and it's just pull the trigger and start shooting so the pepper rounds i like for more of a self-defense round but the impact rounds you can go on youtube there's a ton of videos out there of guys getting shot with the burna and they're going down and, and stopping somebody and it'll help her get away from a dangerous situation so with that we're going to do some practice rounds with caleb wendy and myself just to show you how it works and to show you that it's very easy to use so with that let's get going nice it took longer it will it's a longer trigger pull yeah Nice, that's better. Nice. Where's that one? That one ricocheted up in the tree. Nice. Was that five? That's it, stop. So it definitely had a longer trigger pull than it was expecting it to be. Okay. And I'm still trying to figure out the whole sight piece of it. It, it. it didn't shoot where I thought it was supposed to be shooting. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Safety off. There you go. Nice. That's better. <laughs> oh, here. Nice. Oh, 
That was better. Nice. Yep. What do you think of the burnout? Um, it's nice. It definitely took a little bit of practice. I'm glad that we've gotten out here to practice it. Yeah. So I feel like, because yeah, the trigger part really took me by surprise. So the first time you pull it, you're puncturing the CO2. Mm -hmm. That's why the first one is so difficult to puncture. So that first one, that's that's that first shot where it's gonna puncture the CO and then you've activated it. And then from there, you're shooting your, your rounds. So. But does it the, actually, it punctures it and shoots the first one? Correct. Yeah. Grab the trigger. All you'd have to do is drop your safety and start shooting. You wouldn't have to think about it. It hasn't punctured the CO2, but then you know your first shot, it's going to puncture the CO2 and be effective. So, yep. so with their training videos, I had seen a question. The question was, how far do I twist this in? Well, they're saying flush. So it's kind of like when it gets tight and it stops, you're gonna go just another like a half a turn more. You don't wanna go too far. You can see it's kind of flush here. So that tells us we're ready. So we treat this just like a firearm. Always point it in a safe direction. Always point it away from your body. Safety first. There's a ton of safety videos out there on how to use the Berna SD, the HD. They also have a long gun. All that stuff's on their website. It's a great resource of how the product works. If you want to find out more information, you can check out Berna's site. We'll have full details down in the description down below. You know, it's one of those things, you're talking to people about uh, self-defense and you're talking to them about staying safe while you're camping, especially if you're overlanding and you're all by yourself. I've seen some people on their trailers put cameras and that kind of thing while they're gone away from base camp. But what if you run into that situation where you had to defend yourself? What would you use? Would you use a firearm? Would you use a non-lethal device? Um, yeah, put it down in the comments. We'll have a discussion. Thoughts on the Berna? I'm going to try it some more. <laughs> <laughs> so it is kind of fun to it plank is. around with. So yeah. we got the blaze orange color. They do sell it in other colors. There's a, there's a desert tan. There's a black. The black would look just like a firearm. I guess that's up to you whether you want it to look like that. All right, guys. So like I always say, make sure you guys get out. And do some camping. All right. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time. Let's do some more shooting. All right. All right. Load her up. Load her up, Caleb. <laughs>